In the environment, well, what better way to start than on National Garden Day? One young person who's already at it is a 10-year-old Cape Town boy. He encourages growing succulents which thrive in drought-stricken areas. Let's take a look. Gardening is 10-year-old Yuan Kutzer's passion. Over weekends, he can be found tending a neat green space. With the help of his parents, this fourth grader has already established a herb and vegetable patch. I just feel the passion through the plants and I really like the forms and how different all of them look. It's like you're bringing new life into the world. It's just like a fun feel and it's like you feel like you're a hero. Succulents are his favourite and an expert says Johan is on the right track. She encourages the planting of indigenous flora suitable for the local climate. Here in South Africa we've got a wonderful succulent biodiversity and the succulent Karoo is regarded as a biodiversity hotspot. So if you are planting uh, succulents particularly, you are planting uh, plants that are water wise and which celebrate this incredible biodiversity that we have here locally. Johan became intrigued by plants a few years ago and wants everyone to join in. The family leads by example by making their own fertilizer and using recycled water. If people don't start their own gardens, less and less people will start gardens, then one day there won't be any oxygen in the world left. Some plants have gone extinct because of people, so I really want to keep the plants that we have now alive. Both Professor Makunga and Johan encourage proper research for the best results when starting a garden. But they both agree there's no better way to keep the body and mind healthy. Maris Kabota, SABC News, Cape Town. Sweet boy, well, creating sustainable solutions to being more...